It's, it's 4 30 a.m. Good morning, everybody. August 3rd on this Tuesday. I'm Michael Gorgiou. Uh, I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Oh, you were part of it. That's right. Lauren Scala, Maria LaRosa, you guys are here. But we, right, we claim yes. people when they're one of ours. That's right. Absolutely. What's going on in the weather department? Oh, it's a little chilly in the spots. I have some 40s on the oh, map gosh. right now. So I'm going to. All right. So no windshield wiper usage this morning on the drive, Lauren. What else is needed? We like that. Uh, you don't even need that much patience right now. If you're headed out, the eastern spur of the New Jersey Turnpike is closed northbound with construction from where it starts up to exit 16E, which is the Lincoln Tunnel exit. So you will be diverted to the western spur. Then heading over to the Verrazano Bridge, you have construction out there in both directions, but it's the Staten Island bound upper level that is closed right now, so you'll need to use the lower level. Charlene and Michael, back to you. The MTA doesn't have any overnight track work listed on their website this morning, so no issues on the subways, uh, no issues on the major commuter rail lines, and we'll take a live look outside at the... That's what it is now, right? <laughs> Weather is boss, though. I mean, that's yeah. it, billionaire or not, right? But right. take a look at what we're seeing now. Not looking great. We have... 47. Lauren, what's going on? Not too much is happening out there on the roads. You can see lots of green on the maps. If you are headed out right now, there is construction on the Verrazano Bridge. So that's Staten Island bound upper level. Uh, they're saying that's closed, but you can see that things are still moving along. No delays uh, in the area. We'll take a live look outside at the Alexander Hamilton Bridge where things are also moving along in both directions there. Uh, Major Deegan's in good shape beneath it. And then finally, heading over to the Grand Central Parkway out by LaGuardia Airport. Clear sailing through there. Uh, really, like I said, you're in for a nice drive this morning at this hour at least. Alternate side of the street parking rules and meter rules are both in effect. Michael, back to you. Next month. I just say they probably just don't want people like crowding the cable sure. car. Sure, right? or you want to avoid that where you it's can, a bit right? Thing, yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. it's a little chilly, right? Oh, you said it would be a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's some 40s bad. out there mm -hmm. uh, in the city, though. We're still looking at the mid uh, 60s under clear skies for now. The clouds just with mostly cloudy skies. Thanks so much, Maria. All right, what's happening, Lauren? It's a quiet morning so far on the roads. Just some construction that might get in your way. Sitting out there? Not much, Maria. It's just construction getting in your way this morning. So heading over to the FDR Drive, you have two lanes blocked southbound in the 70s. So delays are starting to build out there because only one lane is open. And then heading over to the Verrazano Bridge, you still have road work out there. So the Staten Island bound upper level is closed. Uh, you have lanes blocked on both levels of the Brooklyn bound uh, Verrazano Bridge. And there are some delays coming off the Staten Island Expressway, getting into that. So something to keep in mind as you head out the door. Darlene, back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. A.M. So congratulations oh, to all sure. athletes. Huh? Absolutely. When you run the second fastest ever and you're in second place. I know what it's That's like, so Maria. Fun. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Amazing, <laughs> amazing athletes. All right, let's get you out the door this morning. Watching the clouds creep up from the south on our radar and satellite picture. No rain just yet. Fair skies and 65 over the city now. 75 by noontime, just in the 70s for highs. But you can see we stay great and we stay rain free at least for now. We do have a chance for some showers in our area by the end of the week. So I'll time that out for you. And you can see it is not just hot. It is full on summer hot as we head into next week. Heat and humidity for several days in a row. We'll talk about that coming up in the 10 day forecast. into a deli this morning. Teen students, there's a new initiative we'll tell you about right after the break. If you are getting on the rails, the subways and the major commuter rail lines are running on or close to schedule. And if you're getting on the roads, here's the FDR drive where you can see southbound just one lane gets by in the 70s. We'll take a lot. Not too bad. Changes. Plaza. Luckily, it's not causing much of a delay right now, but I'll let you know if that changes. Then heading over to construction on the FDR drive. It's out there southbound, so just one lane gets by in the 70s, and you can see that things are starting to slow down. Heading over to the Grand Central Parkway, you also have some road work on the eastbound side after Northern Boulevard, so it's a little backed up through here. And then heading over to the Verrazano Bridge, you'll see uh, actually just eased out on the Brooklyn Mount Upper Level. Things were at a standstill, so they're once again moving, but you do have a bit of a delay with us this morning. Yes. And Marie LaRosa is here we're looking at this cooler weather that we're dealing with. I mean, can we? I mean, I say dealing with it's not like a problem. <laughs> I know. Right. It's not, <laughs> not a problem. And then we'll talk about next week because okay. you'll want it cooler. It's going to be really hot next week, uh, but we'll enjoy it now because I want to look at this. Thanks so okay. much, Maria. What sherbet does the commute remind you of? <laughs> mm. <laughs> a, different a different color. I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Uh, we'll take a little look outside. It's some ugly included. Thanks so much, Lauren. It's 524 right now. A Long Island family is back on shit. Yeah, beautiful. The sky is beautiful. Music. Fire this morning. It is one of those sunrises. Let's show yes. you another vantage point. Looking toward the east here, you got that bright orange and red, Lauren.
All right, well, let's hope that all of you enjoy the sunrise. Some of you are going to have to sit in traffic. Not many of you, though. Uh, we are going to head over to the BQE where there is an accident. So you have some delays out there on the eastbound side getting into the Brooklyn Bridge. It's just before Kevin Plaza, like I said. So you have the right lane out. Delays go back to Atlantic Avenue right now. They're not too bad. But as you can see, uh, the Brooklyn Bridge in the foreground's moving along nicely. Then heading over to in for a nice ride. Uh, in most of the area, you still have some construction on the Verrazano Bridge. So uh, while most lanes are open, there's still a little bit of a delay coming off the Staten Island Expressway getting into the bridge. You still have some road work eastbound on the Grand Central Parkway just after Northern Boulevard slowing things down a bit and the FDR lane gets by. Darlene and Michael, back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. 530. Ooh, if you if you are getting on the rails this morning, uh, everything's moving along nicely. Major commuter rail lines and subways included. Uh, heading over to the ferries, they're on our close to schedule as well, but that Greenpoint landing remains closed for NYC ferry commuters. Let's Take a live look outside. 546. Lauren, what are you watching? There's a couple of things out there. Uh, the BQE accident eastbound approaching Cabman Plaza cleared, but now we have some new issues. Heading over to the Cross Bronx, you have two incidents very uh, close to one another. So on 95 southbound, you have an accident by Castle Hill. So stick with the Bruckner if you're heading westbound, but eastbound, you have delays on the Bruckner. You still have construction out there by the Hunts Point drawbridge. Uh, heading over to the FDR Drive, we'll take a live look out there at delays heading southbound. You still have construction. Uh, out there in the 70s, so just one lane gets by. And then heading over to the Long Island Expressway, you have delays picking up out there westbound, heading into Queens Boulevard. Finally, uh, heading back over here, you can see the GW Bridge is moving along nicely, but uh, over here on the right side of our screen, there's an overturned tractor trailer on Lemoyne Avenue in Fort Lee, heading northbound out by Bruce Reynolds Boulevard. So all lanes are closed here by this intersection for people that uh, commute locally in this area that will affect you. So heads up, and alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect. Michael, back to you. We are. Don't we love them together? I think that's yeah, cool. So yeah, so that'll love be great. Together. All right, Lauren is here. Marie is here. We're looking at weather and traffic on a Tuesday. We sure are. Here we are. And uh, getting still a beautiful sunrise as it has uh, maybe some showers catching up down the shore. And by Thursday, again, generally cloudy skies, mainly the 70s for the rest of the week. All right, thanks so much. So what, we got some traffic troubles? We have some, some, okay. some. Not too bad today. <laughs> if you're headed out on the Jackie Robinson Parkway, there's a vehicle that shouldn't be out there. Uh, so westbound approaching Metro Lines and subways are on or close to schedule. All right, thanks so much. So what we want to know, right still to come, did Simone Biles get a medal? We'll have your spoiler alert. And then all spirit. Rosa's here with today's forecast. Still a beautiful sky, not that beautiful orange we had a moment ago. I know, it's so fleeting, right? So yes. They run, see while you can, because the clouds are quickly taking over the sun's track. Tuesday traffic, uh, more and more people getting out there on the road, so it's a little slow going in some spots, but construction on the FDR Drive is definitely causing some delays right now. So southbound, that road work in the 70s is causing delays into the 90s. So leave yourself extra time, take local streets, or stick with the west side. Then heading over to Fort Lee, this is actually Actually, Bruce Reynolds uh, Boulevard out there. So this is completely shut down uh, out by Lemoyne Avenue. Earlier, the uh, report was Lemoyne Avenue. And actually, it looks like that may be closed at the moment, too. But anyway, there's an overturned tractor trailer out there that they're trying to upright. Again, that's Fort Lee. So for those of you that take the local streets through there, something to keep in mind. Darlene and Michael, back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. Six Hello. If you are getting on the subways, southbound four and five trains, they're running local from Grand Central, 42nd Street, down to the Brooklyn Bridge Station. Uh, that's all because of some signal issue issues near Union Square. Uh, then heading over to the roads on the Jackie Robinson Parkway, westbound approaching Metropolitan Avenue. You have a truck out there. It shouldn't be there on a parkway, so it is causing delays. You can see the Grand Central backed up as well, getting into the area. And we'll take a live look outside at a backed up. Let's get you ready for traffic. What's going on, Lauren? Many of you are still in for a nice drive. I'm going to show you where some of the troubles spots are. We're going to start with the Cross Bronx Expressway where you have this truck accident. It doesn't look like any cars were involved, but it looks like the truck is about to be towed off the roadway here. This is on 95 southbound uh, out by uh, White Plains. We'd like to stick with the Bruckner as an alternate option. You can see the delays uh, both eastbound over to the Grand Central Parkway. You still have delays westbound getting into the Kew Gardens interchange, but that unauthorized truck on the Jackie Robinson Parkway cleared. So that was uh, westbound out there by Metropolitan Avenue. So this should improve and not get too much worse. And outside of that things are just a little congested here or there. Are no major problems on the major roadways. But we're going to head over to Kai Simonson, who is live in Chopper 4, over the scene of an accident by the George Washington. Daring things this year that's spreading to the menu. For the first time, the cuisine at the event will be entirely plant based. Mm -hmm. The recipes will be developed by a group of chefs picked by Marcus Samuelson. This year's Met Kitchen. It'll be held on September 13th. 
Okay, we know Marcus Samuelson's fantastic, right? right? And yeah. there's so much plant-based food that, that tastes really good for yeah. those of us who, who are not not eating mm -hmm. plant-based. Yeah. Right? Exciting. So something for and everybody. And then we can get a Beyond Rembrandt. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, September 13th will be here before you know it, right? And it feels a little fall-like out there. It's a little on the cool side, upper 40s and 50s in spots, uh, including in through Westchester County. We've got Somers right now. And uh, happy to report that weed depth is about two to three feet. You can see with the measuring stick there at the weather station. Mm -hmm. 59 degrees at Mount Kisco. We have Woodbridge at fit Woodridge at 51 mm -hmm. degrees upper 70s. What, what depth? The weeds. The weeds in the field. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know <laughs> anyone went out and measured Michael? that. <laughs> the fields? Like yeah. in well, Somers? Well, they had the measuring stick for the weather. For weeds? Which, you, no, it's usually for snow. The okay. farm? But yeah, there's a, it's an orchard there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Maria's like, so sorry she went <laughs> down this I avenue. I really regret <laughs> that using that. <laughs> You can't tell city kids things like no. that. <laughs> weeds? Where's no, weeds? weeds. What? Yeah, we were all like... <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're getting on the roads right now, you're going to be doing that too, especially if you're heading out on Route 80 in New Jersey. So eastbound, there's an overturned tractor trailer out there. Just two lanes stop, and then you have delays on northbound Q trains. I almost just said the Brooklyn Bridge exit for subways. All right. <laughs> having a morning. Thank you, Warren. <laughs> Famous sight and sound returns to the hills of San Francisco, the city's historic cable cars. They're back. They're all good to see. All right, 626 still to come. Where Team USA stands in the medal count as Simone Biles returns to Olympic competition. Plus the 630 a.m. on this Tuesday, August 3rd. I'm Michael Gargiulo. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Lauren Scala is looking at commuter alerts and how you're getting out and about this morning. Storm Team 4's Maria LaRosa is here looking at the weather. It's been cooler. Yeah, cool and quiet. Mm -hmm. No weather alerts for you today. Mm -hmm. Just um, the clouds. They've taken over. We have a couple of problems that are causing delays this morning. Not too many, uh, but we will head over to New Jersey. We're on 80 eastbound. You have an overturned tractor trailer out, that, out there between exits 57 and 58. So just two lanes get by. You can see delays are already very heavy. Avoid this. It'll take a while to get that tractor trailer cleared. Then heading over to the Cross Bronx Expressway, another tractor trailer incident this time uh, one that is disabled so that takes out two lanes this is on the southbound side of 95 heading into Westchester Avenue delays are heavy back through the Bruckner interchange and Kai Simonson is on the move for us this morning if you have a flight at Kennedy Airport you're gonna sit in some delay down out there good morning Lauren. good morning let's start with the rails you still have southbound four and five trains running local from 42nd Street down to the Brooklyn Bridge stop and now you have delays on the Q train in both directions major commuter rail lines it's only path right now that has some delays it's on the Hoboken a 33rd Street and Hoboken a World Trade Center lines. Outside of that, the rails look good. 80 is in pretty bad shape this morning eastbound after exit 57, Route 19 in the Patterson area. There's an overturned tractor trailer, so just two lanes are open. Delays are very heavy getting through here, so definitely avoid it. Then over on the FDR Drive northbound, you have a crash by 96th Street. Delays go back to the Queensboro Bridge. You have southbound delays as well, but in better news, uh, there was a stalled truck out there on the Cross Bronx heading westbound out by Westchester Ave. That clear so those delays should get a little bit better, but now you can see the Bruckner uh, delays are worse. But there you go, it just got turned orange and yellow, so you can see those delays are easing out. I'm telling you the truth. Uh, heading over to the Long Island Expressway, delays are building westbound out by exit uh, 19, heading into Queens Boulevard, and alternate side is in effect. Darlene, back to you. All right, thanks so much. 646. Pretty bad. And then the, well, hi. Well, hold on, hi. we'll take that in just a second. I yeah. Our top story right now, growing concerns over the Delta variant. Louisiana and San Francisco brought back mask, indoor mask requirements. Governor Cuomo and Mayor de Blasio are encouraging people to wear them indoors, vaccinated or not, but it will not be required right now. New Jersey's launching new vaccine rules. Employees in hospitals, long-term care facilities, jails, and state prisons must be vaccinated by September 7th or face once or twice a week testing. And in Connecticut, Governor Ned Lamont says he doesn't plan on mandating the use of masks for now. The governor says the Department of Health's policy of strongly recommending the use of masks is probably working. All right. We had a preview of Lauren. We did have a preview. We always love a preview. Hope you liked it. Um, <laughs> Loved if it. you're headed out right now, you also got a preview of my maps. There's an overturn on the New Jersey Turnpike northbound after Route 46 causing some delays there. Uh, over on the FDR Drive, you saw the crash northbound approaching 96th Street. Delays are pretty heavy in both directions. And then heading over to the rails, you have delays in service changes on the 4, 5, and Q lines and then path commuters. There are delays out there on the Hoboken to 33rd Street and Hoboken to World Trade Center lines. Thanks so much.
All right, uh, pretty quiet this morning, just cloudy skies, a little on the cool side, and some 40s north and west of the city, where, and high humidity too, so that heat index is back after a nice prolonged mm -hmm. break from having to talk about it. Mid and upper 90s feels like temps and lows. It's going to be like August. Yeah. It's going to be like August. <laughs> Stay with us, we'll, we'll happening to the mute here's Lawrence Gala. Thanks, Darlene. There are delays on the four and the five and path delays on the Hoboken at 33rd Street and Hoboken a World Trade Center lines. If you're headed to the Holland Tunnel, there is a crash at the covered roadway. So Route 139 eastbound before Palisades Avenue. That's causing about a 20 minute delay over in the local lanes of the New Jersey Turnpike northbound after Route 46. You have an overturned vehicle there. You can see things are pretty jammed up. You have an overturned vehicle on 80 eastbound out by exit 57, making a big mess of the commute. And then the Deegan also extremely backed up northbound and southbound that crash on the northbound side by West 230th Street. Darlene, back to you. All right, thanks so much. We will be right back with Maria LaRosa's forecast. I call you when I need you. My heart's on fire. To ignite the world takes unstoppable fire. Oh, and it can't be wrong. To University of New Haven. Let's take a look at the morning commute. Here's Lauren Scal. Scala. Thanks, Darlene. <laughs> there are delays out there on the 4, 5, and F trains. I know you know my name. Uh, then heading over to 139 eastbound out by the covered roadway, you have a crash approaching Palisade Avenue, so you still have delays heading towards the Holland Tunnel. 80 eastbound, still a mess with this overturn. Here's Lauren Scala. Thanks, Darlene. Delays are 